So we just passed some reindeers and then you have to watch out because then you know it's a really thin snow layer. <laughs> so good <the> hips. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Don't be the humble guy. Be like, well, I'm gonna fucking win this. So this is the Bec de Ross, where the final of the Free Art World Tour happens every year. I never won there, and even though I've been on the tour for five years, I've only competed there twice because of bad weather and different circumstances. You don't want to look too bad on the live stream, so you, you, you want to ski well. Uh, then the goal is just to qualify for Rebeer. Goal number three, to win in Rebeer. So it's, it's a lot to do, but we'll see. On the Bec de Ross, I would put it up, but uh, starting the season, most of the season, I'm, I guess I'm on a pretty low thin scale uh, because I want to keep my knees intact. Uh, and I never fall, so it doesn't matter. So to be able to do good in Verbier, it's of course a combination of skiing, jumps, and air and style. And as you can see here, we're looking on some mixed style, I would say. There's some really bad 360s in here from previous comps I did. So a big thing, not only with style is, that I think it's really cool to be able to spin both ways. And I think most of us have a favorite way, mine is left. So I wanna be able to spin almost as good to my left and right. Uh, so that's, that's also something I'm, I'm looking to do. So, time to head up in the, in the resort. We've got a really, really good gang shred going on today. So, we're gonna meet up with a lot of experienced rider who is down the back to Ross. Yeah, I think we counted to 32 times. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the gist of my alpine career, or career I've been waiting for Henrik. Yeah, but we are always early too. That's yeah. true. We're like this annoyingly early. But I have a direct quote from Henrik on the airport, that you sit in the lounge and you don't go to the gate until you get the second call out of your name. <laughs> Where do you want to go? Let's go for a warm up, fun run. This small jib. Zip line. So we just passed some reindeers and then you have to watch out because then you know it's a really thin snow layer. The reindeers like to stay where it's thin so they can reach down to the ground and where their food is. What's cool about the Beck is that if you if you ask a kid to draw a mountain, they would draw the Beck. It's it's a perfect like pyramid peak. It's a maze of cliffs and uh, and um, features, so it's quite kind of hard to find your way. I like the intimidation factor that the Beck Ross has. I maybe get a little bit sick of it sometimes because it's all that Reina thinks about. He'll watch videos, he'll go over it, he analyzes it, uh, he's obsessed with it. <laughs> Uh, just do my homework. Yes. Yeah, I think that's the, the hardest part and I've been in that position uh, 
every time I stood on the start that I have the chance to win the overall title. Plus the Verbi Extreme in itself is a really honorable competition to, to win. It's because it's two competition in one. The overall title and the Verbi Extreme. So it's a lot of mental <laughs> things going on in the head. I think you really want, need to want to win. Yeah, yeah. I feel, I feel like that in in a lot of competitions, you have to find something that you you're really eager to manage or that you're a little bit nervous about, but that you have to push yourself into. Because if you find a line that you're too comfortable with, you it's really hard to push yourself. I think maybe he could be a little bit more cocky on his companions, like try to uh, psych the Frenchies a little bit. Maybe, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to work on my competitors. <laughs> Yeah. Don't be the humble guy, be like, well, I'm gonna fucking win this. Thanks for shredding guys. Yeah, really awesome. good day. Have an awesome season. No matter what. We'll catch up and see. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah, so we're in Ores uh, snow park, but we're gonna meet up with Niklas Eriksson, the Swedish free ski, freestyle coach. We're gonna link up with him and see if he got some input for my style. Good. Yeah, I've been watching the videos of you skiing. You spinning? Know, spinning and flipping. <laughs> and it looks like you got the flips pretty dialed in. You, But then you could maybe work on the 360s both ways a little bit. And yeah. I think I might got some ideas that could help you possibly. Yeah, really. Because I've been doing so many left side spins. Yep. So I don't even think about how to do it. But when I switch to right side, yep. it I don't know what where to start like. I can do them sometimes, but uh, they don't look good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. so just try to like, maybe just spin a lap now and maybe get a, just a warm up, feel the speed out, and then we can start doing left side 360s and I can have a little look, how it looked when you hit a park jump. And uh, we can just go from there. Good idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that looked really good. Uh, the only thing I kind of saw that you did uh, is that you carve off the jump, which okay. like on lips like this, it's perfect. It make it so much easier. When you're going down like steep faces and doing the contest, it's kind of hard to go on an edge, I feel like. So yeah. the flat face takeoff, I feel like that would be the one, the takeoff that will help you the most. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Do the same, do a 360, but go kind of more flat base, not on an edge. So what you want to do is just like follow through with the hip, like kind of set the rotation with the hip more than with the arms. And yeah, and what I usually think of when I do flat base trick that I, that I push through the, <coughs> the inside of my right heel. That's where I put the pressure. So I just have the pressure going through right through the boot pretty much mm -hmm. instead of 
like when you carve, you kind of push up more on the left leg. True, yeah. Okay, stay on both feet. Yeah. Get comfortable. Just bend the knee a little bit and yeah, just push off using the heels pretty much. Good advice. <laughs> Nice thread, really nice to have some cruel tips to, to think about. Especially about, because I want to be able to spin both ways and have something to think about. I mean, practice makes perfect. Just gotta keep on doing it. I will definitely do it because it's so much fun just threading here. <laughs> Super cool. Thanks, man. How are you well? <laughs> oh. I can hear he's a pro because he, when he explained the thing with standing firmly in both your feet and spinning my good left side, I kind of push down my right side heel and foot and start to spin there. And when Niklas told me, so just switch over, so spin right side, use your left heel and foot to start off the spin with. And it, uh, I only tried twice now, but I definitely feel the difference already. So it's really good. good. It's really cool to have good advice and feel the improvements. You really have to push even harder. Don't tell anyone where we went today. 